talking graphite here with ecograph and andrew and you've got some good updates for shareholders here going into q3 2025 yeah, absolutely, Arnie, and really nice to be back with you since our, our visit in Frankfurt and meeting. The recent announcements have been really supportive of the work efforts that we've been, our team has been undertaking the last two announcements, the purification process, the financial metrics around developing a purification facility, industry leading low cost that we've achieved through the benchmarking also, and the Australian patent that we granted was recently granted has been really supportive of, of our developments and it's really an exciting time for the company. Yeah, and talking about the patents, I mean, they have been granted, so it's kind of a stamp of approval verification for shareholders here to see, wow, this is really cutting edge technology and you're building a moat against future competition. And these patents are valid, I think, 25 years. Huh? Correct. The Australian patent that was just granted earlier this, this week was our actual first patent and what it does it protects you know the work that we've done to develop our own purification we've spent a lot of time it hasn't just occurred recently we we decided to develop a, a chemical process back in 2016 the work that has culminated in the last four years was reported in the previous announcement showing an operating purification cost of 478 really competitive with the existing chinese materials as the market moves towards, or particularly Europe and the US moves towards new supply chains being developed. And I think one of the most exciting aspects of it, it's the first time in our history that we can actually connect the value proposition of the downstream with the upstream. And when you combine those, you know, it's really compelling. It'll be a super compelling value, not only for our shareholders, but also for our customers, you know, having a, a sustainable a uh, visual vertically integrated supply chain from Tanzanian graphite is, you know, really an outstanding achievement. And uh, we're very, getting very close to be able to combine all that together. Yeah, we're working hard to, you know, on, on, the, on the financing side. Yeah, and talking about Tanzania here, I mean, how much of that supply chain is going to happen in Tanzania and how much is going to happen in Australia or maybe even in the U.S.? We were very lucky. We've been recognised by the European Union as a priority project, and that is really driven by the offtake, European offtake that we have into Europe, the KFW debt financing process that we have undertaken, but also the efforts that we're going to ensure we're working to equate a principles. One of the other recent announcements that is really favourable from a development perspective in Tanzania is putting the first stage of the anode active material, uh, the mechanical shaping in Tanzania, and that's been very well received by customers, by the lenders, and the value addition is really an important part for Africa as well, and I think will be one of the first value addition developments in Tanzania with the midstream. Oh, so you're not going to ship the raw material as such. Um, it's actually going to be processed there on site and then being passed on to the next stage. Yes, absolutely. The, the plan is mining the natural flake graphite value, adding through the mechanical shaping into spherical graphite and then exporting that into Europe, into Asia, into the US, where we're looking to put our purification facilities. And we've got really clear pathways on three of those markets and support. We're working on support financing and offtake. We've announced the award for positive finding from the US Department of Defense on a white paper submission for US 76 million to support the development of the purification in the US. But we're also very focused on putting the purification in Europe, uh, particularly in Germany, given the funding, the offtake that we have into Germany and the emerging German European led de demand. And I think one of the benefits that come from this low cost processing achievement is we can compete with alternate supply chains, particularly the China, the materials coming from Tanzania. Yeah, and talking about Germany, our best regards here to the Ecograph community, one of the largest shareholder bases in Ecograph. And when are you planning on being back in Germany for a uh, next uh, get together and for meeting the KFW? Yeah, look, we're working. The process is proceeding. It's one of the hot questions I get continuously. We're under full disclosure. You know, at the appropriate time, we'll make a material news. I guess we are looking to come back to Germany shortly. 
And we look forward to reconnecting with our shareholders and reconnecting in Frankfurt. And yeah, it's going to be uh, a very exciting time. Okay. And then just coming back to the patents again, you mentioned that there in the announcement that there's a kind of 25% reduction in process costs. Is this now kind of the bottom of the economics or are we going to see even further improvement along the financial metrics of production costs? Yeah, it's a great question. You know, we've drawn a line in the sand to really move forward on the commercialization of our process. Our team is working and there is opportunity to further reduce the cost and we're working on that. Obviously, the, the cost is the paramount objective here. Sustainability, ESG, the customer's like that, but they still relate to matching the cost with existing materials. So yeah, the more we can focus on that, the better. But uh, yeah, we've drawn a line in the sand where we can move forward, but there is still work programs in the background to uh, advance uh, that aspect. Okay. And then on offtake agreements, I mean, with graphite, it's not like with your average copper or other general commodities where you can just sell it on the spot market. It always has uh, specific attributes like the flake size. So the, it needs to be matched exactly to the chemical requirements of the customer. So is that already kind of ongoing, these kind of tests on material for the offtake agreements or what needs to happen in order for that step to be Yeah, well, largely, off? look, we have got the agreement with Tizencrook that's supporting the debt financing process. We've done all the testing for the, for the natural flake graphite. We're seeing increasing interest on the spherical graphite and the purified spherical graphite. And those agreements, as they're developed, will support the purification facilities. And then on, on China, you mentioned the price in China, but how relevant is the price going forward when we're talking about supply chain and dependencies? Uh, if I look at the space stocks uh, that I'm currently also following, one of the things I really like about them is they're 95% vertically integrated and they have no dependency whatsoever on China. So how is that going to change the game in terms of not uh, leading on price, but just leading on jurisdiction? I think the tariffs that are announced by the US is going to play increasingly important on pricing. Uh, the, mm -hmm. the tariffs have been put in to give calls around the anti-dumping of the graphite in the US. And this report saying, you know, that's we're going to see a 160% increase. Uh, I think there is going to be a pricing increase uh, for sustainable, visible new materials. However, you want to develop a business that is competitive on the material supply chain. So we're hoping for a price rise, but planning for mm. price stability and yeah, very pleased with the, the increasing demand in Europe, uh, Asia and the US on an ex-China basis. And, uh, you know, that's the market we're really targeting and developing the vertically integrated anode business around. Andrew, any final words from your side? No, just very much, uh, uh, look, Arnie, looking forward to coming back to, to Frankfurt and um, won't be too long before we organise that. And uh, yeah, look forward to meeting up with you uh, yourself again and and uh, the, the news flow over the next couple of months. I think it's going to be an exciting time for, for the company. Andrew, fingers crossed for that uh, CARFE meeting and uh, getting that uh, across the line. All the best. Thanks very much.